Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to part two of how I press Golden Age comics. There may be different ways people do it, and that is cool. But this is the way I do it. And I do it different ways as well, but this is how I'm doing uh, the Adventure Comics, which is owned by Joe from Black Box Silver and Bronze. So here you have my big piece of glass, which is on top of the book, which is on top of a shelf. Excuse me when I'm taking the weights off. Now, this is the big piece of glass. Let me show you right here. We'll take that off. And that has been on the Adventure Comics for a good, I would have to say, probably about five or six days. And this is not five or six days, which <clears throat> is the rule. But rather, it's just that I got busy with doing other things, and <clears throat> I was unable to remove the glass. But the longer you let it press with weights on it, the better the job is, in my opinion. So this is all pre-pressing. That was illustrated on the past upload. Now what we're going to do is we are going to do things in relation to humidity. So this is step two, because what I want to do is I want to introduce humidity to the book before I turn around and I press it in the screw press or the book binding press. So how are we going to do this? We're going to do this very simply. I'm going to take the book and look how flat the book became. The book really turned out pretty, pretty nice just by simple cold pressing. So we're going to amp it up and we're going to do now step two. So I'm getting my chamber on the side of my work area. Let's get these little eraser pieces out of here before we continue. You want to try to keep your work area straight and clean and nice and organized. That's the best way to have it in my opinion. So there we go. There is my hefty Tupperware that I use. Maybe the camera's picking it up. That's it right there. It's a 40 quart hefty store extra unit. This was purchased at Home Dumpo or Home Depot. I like to call it Home Dumpo in jest. So we're going to put the chamber down just like this. Next, what I want to do is let's get rid of this too. Next, what I want to do is I want to put a grate, okay? We're going to put a grate down because we're going to pour the water underneath the grate. And we'll use one bottle or 16.9 fluid ounces. See how scientific I'm becoming, giving ounces and giving the type of chamber I use, because we're very scientific on this channel. We'll put the grate down. And in fact, I'm gonna put a second grate down because I do not want to get it wet. And this second grate will prevent the water from touching the comic. Then what I wanna do is I'm gonna put a piece of Right here, we'll put a piece of this is Holitex because it's a lot smooth, smoother. The Rame is thicker. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to take the Avengers comics and we're going to put it nicely on the Holitex, just like this. 
but we're going to do something a little different. Here we go. I have plastic straws. And what I want to do is I want the moisture really to penetrate the book. So I'm going to open the book to the centerfold, just like this. Once we get to it, nicely take our time getting to the centerfold. I think we have a few more. There we go. Here's the centerfold, just like that. And then I'm going to put one straw and then I'll put another straw just like this and we'll close the book just like that. Then what I'll do is I want to open the cover as well and I'm going to put one straw just like this and I'll put another straw just like that and we'll just leave it. And by doing that, it will just give it some vents inside of the book. What does that mean, vents? Well, it's separating the cover from the first page. The centerfold is spread apart and it's giving the, the book some air or humidity to go into there and really penetrate the interior of the book. So next step, what I'll do is I will take the top, we'll put the top on just like this, and I'll lock it up. So that's it. I will keep the book in here overnight. The exact time, it could be probably about 12 to 15 hours. And then what I'll do is I will press it. But that's all we're going to do for this upload. Um, it's very short. This is just how I put the book in the humidity chamber so it absorbs moisture. So then when we put it into the press and we let it dry in the press, it will really flatten out, I hope, to the best that I can do. So that's it, guys. A very quick upload. Appreciate you stopping by. Watch out for part three, and that's going to be the whole pressing procedure. Stay tuned. <laughs>